let's have a look at some beginner friendly jobs on this particular website called jobsite actually i'm going to look at other website as well so but uh, the main thing really is about beginner friendly uh, jobs you know for entry level uh, people and also um, jobs that are not location uh, restricted so i mean i'm not going to have location here so which means that you know for people that are able to travel uh, to anywhere for jobs um, so which means that you can just you know travel and move to a particular location because of jobs uh, then this is going to be good for you because uh, i'm not going to put a location here um so let's say on this particular website called job uh, so i can start with where well, again absolute beginner so i can start with uh, data entry uh, so this uh, data entry is one of those jobs that you know beginner beginner friendly uh, so if i put data entry in the keyword um, and then i'm going to just search so and uh, you notice that i didn't put location in the uh, location um, uh, place there so this this first, this first one that that is um, uh, that came up is uh, data entry administrator let's just scroll a little bit down um let's scroll a little bit down and see if there is any other thing but um, we're going to come back to that one anyway so but i just want to quickly see if there's anything that might caught my eyes um okay so let's try this one um this data entry administrator so which you can see right here um so it's got um yeah so data entry as it says and you know it's got two uh, data entry administrator so two people they want uh, for this and it's contract based and again you know people should not be um you know people that can travel uh shouldn't be scared to apply for contracts so because contracts well you know when you get uh, the first contract so that might open up uh, opportunity for more contracts um so i actually know if that is only contract they do actually um yeah so but um so two uh data uh, data entry administrator so what are the job responsibility um so to be responsible for uh, cleansing a range of data set i've done a video about data cleansing actually uh keep record of all changes for all the purpose so this doesn't look like anything really uh, a big one i mean again it's just data entry and i guess that's why they haven't even put the money there it's possibly not going to be paying uh, a lot of money so but uh, for somebody looking for entry level um i think this should be uh, be a good one uh experience required even though they said experience required but i don't really think you know is anything seriously um serious experience data entry yeah data entry uh, experience i'm not really sure what experience you need for data entry that much um so but data entry as well but it's not i don't think anyone with entry level um, um requirement was somebody that, that want entry level jobs i think you should not be scared with this saying that data entry level uh, data entry experience um microsoft office is usually generally what you know most people uh, need to know uh v lookup i've done have i done, i don't think i've done a video about v lookup yet actually actually i'm doing a course on um on the formula and functions um so when that course is ready i'm possibly going to put it in the description um you can check the description um box anyway just in case whenever you're watching it, maybe you're watching it after i finish the course but um yeah so that's for anyone interested in for function and formula almost like an introduction um uh, erp system knowledge you know all, all of these are not really they are not really anything extraordinary that you know somebody can apply for uh yeah so this one for example 100 pound per day uh six month contract. i think this might be beginner friend the only thing though is um when it comes to like contract in most cases they want you to kick the ground running straight away as soon as you get there they want you to be able to know what you're doing um yeah so experience in financial data analytics uh oracle power bi sql yeah i think if, for somebody that is really very confident in using these tools as well this shouldn't this can be something that 
you can go for if you are really very confident in using those two like uh, power bi and um power bi is one of those one that um i haven't got into yet i haven't got <laughs> time actually uh, time really is normal so i haven't really got a lot of time so but power bi is another um, uh, tool that i should do some tutorial or some training on me uh to upload on youtube um yeah so on here uh let's see okay so there are a quite a number a way to try you could use um and this can be applicable to any job site actually so you could also try to use uh to do search with um to search with junior like junior data analyst uh junior data analyst so this can be beginner friendly as well uh junior data analyst so you can see junior data analyst um so these are fully oh wow this one is fully removed um but um if you are entry level maybe fully removed ah so solid commercial experience of sql server again if you have been able to master this it shouldn't really be a problem as well for a beginner skill with power bi you see power bi is um it's it uh, come up against power bi can be one of those two that a lot of um organization use dax uh, so this is almost like a scripting in uh, in power bi dax um yeah so this this yeah so if somebody if you've been able to master um some of the uh, important tools as well that can be and then this is another one uh junior business analyst well this one is more business analyst but yeah who says you can apply for that as if you are still in the realm of uh, data analytics so yeah some of these are uh, yeah like this one visualization specialist mm, this again is going to be visualization so you're going to require you know you to master charts and you know graphs and all of those so maybe power bi as well tableau all those visualization tools um yeah so like aha as well so which they can can be used for visualization you can see here train members of the uh, train members of the finance and other teams on power bi you see so you have to be able to know it's inside out to be able to then train other people um yes yeah, so uh substantial knowledge of excel and other data sources and assigning data manipulation uh, tableau um sql uh python power bi yeah so this is why these are the tools that are the major ones really another job that can be related to data analysis is um sort of like a project support because project support as well is yeah project support is almost like a a an entry level job as well um so project support can be an entry level program project support officer um yeah so some of these the project support is not you know it, it just require you to be able to use <laughs> computer really well to be able to use uh, microsoft excel um sorry microsoft office generally word excel you know outlook and powerpoint yeah so it's just for you to be able to know what you're doing really um in terms of like you know you can read and write and maybe perhaps take uh, minutes at meetings um yeah so yeah so, so project support is something that you know is something that you can um you can try as well uh, so almost like a way to to just get in um get foot in the door um the, the project support the project coordinator well maybe that possibly not entry level um but project support officer is uh yeah of junior projects junior project let's say pro junior project actually junior project yeah so that yeah junior project uh manager yeah junior pro uh, yeah pmo assistant so this is one this is one of those one that 
yeah you can oh well, this one says three days per week um but it doesn't matter it's just to be able to get the foot in the door look at this actually this is one of those one that you know we have exactly new opportunity for junior pmo assistant um as a workforce yeah so it, it, these are some of the jobs that you know as a as a beginner you can apply for you know never never mind all this long um thing that they are written description don't get intimidated with those um you figure them out so, yeah so these are some of the jobs that and what something that you have to pay attention to as well is the tools that will be used to uh to exert in this role you should have a strong organization and time management skills attention to detail ability to work effectively in the team that's the general thing really additionally familiarity with project management methodologies and tools such as microsoft project or jira would be beneficial you see they say it would be beneficial not that it's just that if there's somebody else that can be able to use it properly so we might get the edge so yeah so getting to really um master any tools that is required i think it's just it's really very but i know you can you can expect that you know the likes of uh, the of office generally will be used as well so these are the type of um um jobs uh junior business analyst as well um you know junior <laughs> it's uh, it's almost like another word for like entry level actually let's go to another um website let's go to the popular one that most people know indeed indeed um indeed jobs ah okay junior data analyst you see junior data analyst here um yeah so what has this one got in terms of okay modern office setting junior data real okay so this is real estate investment um company um so what are the sort of like uh the job description job description is not actually um but uh yeah or benefit work from home so you can is is it remote is it remote is it remote oh, okay hybrid um yes hybrid work so you have you have worked so, uh, at home in some days and uh, work in the office some days uh so yeah so this is uh this is another one that i think you know as a um as a beginner can go for um real estate and this one as well junior pmo analyst um yeah so this as well it's well, it's just that some of the sometimes you have to read the review of the company so you know some of this organization can be horrible place to work so but um yeah uh yeah so this as well pmo i think is one that you know you can see the skills require process a, a high attention to detail ability to multitask uh facilitate project meeting you see that's what i'm saying so you have to facilitate um a meeting you have to organize meeting sometime proving ability to perform effective so you become like a supporting the project manager or supporting somebody in the office um proving ability to perform effective fast paced high growth rapid changing environment yeah so you have to be really fast and quick um delivering things you know experiencing working with multiple uh, stakeholder yeah provision in ms excel powerpoint yes as i said you know of microsoft office generally uh, analytical group uh, problem solver these are the general thing critical thinking um yeah so all of these are um very important anyway yeah back to here um so we can actually just try um support officer as well support officer let's see what comes up research support officer you know this is, is a sort of jobs that you know entry level can apply for as well research support officer um so because when it comes to the world in most cases you are just supporting somebody that is higher up there so which you know it's not that you 
won't do anything but what i'm saying is that you know you're supporting to the person somebody is taking the lead but you of course you still have to really be sharp and you know do some work as well uh so like business support officer um yeah so this business support officer let her kelly see what was in there meeting traveling bookings you know yeah so it's just for people that are just like entry level just trying to get office work uh first maybe you're a dependent of um a dependent of uh, main applicant to um, um, arrive in the uk and you know you just you can just you are free to just do any uh, type of job so this sort of like a, might be a good way to be able to get into like office environment work um yeah so business support obviously it's not that isn't really um anything that is going to require high level of uh, requirement uh, to be able to do um yeah let's see some more okay um right let's go back to in this and just try uh, there are I mean, of course there are other websites as well where you can <laughs> uh, search for job there are quite a, a lot of other ones uh, definitely um yeah so entry let's uh, try this uh entry um not work from home or anything just data entry of course data entry is one of the popular ones that a lot of people um a lot of people look for uh actually there's one that okay yeah data entry administrator yeah so this is another one uh data and uh, data entry administrator is different from the one we saw earlier on um i remember this is one of the type of job that i actually uh, i don't i can't remember if i did it in the end i don't think i did it in the end but it was one of the jobs that i was considering um so it's just a you know a way to just get started to get into the office environment um yeah there are quite a number of them this is another one data entry administration uh some of them can be like fixed contract um oh italian speaker i probably 15 percent of this work will be italian oh dear um possibly not <laughs> uh this is another one let's see this one uh yeah so involve using microsoft excel or other spreadsheet software so experience in these will be necessary you see this is where microsoft excel is just the one that uh, you know can be really very important uh data entry operator this is another one uh data entry operator again these are the that you have to just get yourself into the office sort of like environment and then from there you can move up as strong computer skills so this isn't really i mean most people now they have strong computer skill well not everybody anyway um so provision computerized data entry and typing skills familiar with microsoft office you see microsoft office yeah microsoft office um and then let's see okay uh there's a double job that a lot of people don't pay attention to as well which is a uh, planning uh technician uh planning technician uh some of these will depend on the industry actually some of them are local government local authority um so which uh let's try one of them let's try this one planning technician uh let's see the requirements some of, i mean a lot of planning there are pl- a lot of planning technician in um which are the office base as well in local authority uh some of them might require might be the high level one some of them might be the entry level um it depends though um so of course you just have to have a look uh this one doesn't look to me like an entry level one but there are some of them that can be entry level uh professional busy team uh planning officers 
the role will also require you to assist planning of aha so assistant planning officers so this is not the high level one um so this could be the entry level one as long as you are able to require less directly with developer agent yeah so if you are if you are really very confident really uh this sort of job that you can apply uh, for as well so you can actually um write it and say planning technician uh local government here they are really very common in local government um it system not a traitor that's not what we're looking for senior plan it no not that one let's scroll down i mean there are there will be websites actually that deal with uh local government i think uh i think there is a web there is a local government um there's a local government uh local government jobs government jobs uh yeah there's a website that can specifically for local government jobs really uh, jobs actually so which you know like here is where you could you know planning technician technician um yeah so some of these i mean or there are a lot of other um you know office based local government jobs that uh, are that might just be entry level uh so maybe search based on ah okay job roles uh operating officer assistant uh, uh technician let's see more uh personal assistant planner uh assistant manager administrator maybe analyst actually let's try analyst uh application support specialist uh programmer yeah that that's um a data analysis actually there but i'm not sure if that is going to be entry level possibly not um yeah so local government that's why is another and then of course civil service job uh civil uh service jobs so these are kind of like a general government um jobs yeah so which you know there will be jobs there as well well <laughs> let me just stop here anyway um so but um